The world would just simply not be the same without spicy mayo making us all laugh. Thanks to all of you who watch my videos, I was able to pay for Mayo's hospital stay, and he is back to his old spicy self. For those of you that don't know what happened, he had a blockage in his urinary tract, which required immediate medical intervention. After speaking with the veterinarian, there are many reasons why a blockage can occur, but in this case they do believe that it was stress-related, although his family has no idea what possibly could have stressed out the king himself. For this reason, we are shaving off his adorable fluffy coat today. Mayonnaise does not tolerate being brushed at home, and the owners were worried about doing it while he wasn't feeling well, so he does have some mats. But it will be much easier to maintain him if he does not have this coat, and of course, it's springtime. Something that many people don't know is that cats originally came from the desert, which means that they went a very long time without drinking water. Instinctually, it's natural for your cat to not drink very much water. But however, when they used to live in the desert, they would hunt prey. As we know, bodies are made up of a considerable amount of liquid, so as a cat would eat their prey, they are actually rehydrating themselves at the same time. That being said, today's cats are generally eating a commercially prepared food which is oftentimes dry. Although there is raw food available to them, most pet owners feed a dry kibble. The problem with this is that they are dehydrating themselves, which often leads to blockages or urinary tract problems, as well as kidney issues. Ways to avoid these health problems would be to rehydrate your pet's kibble, and this goes for dogs as well. You should always be adding a liquid, such as water, to your pet's dry food so that they can hydrate. It's also better for digestion. You could also feed a wet food, and in addition to that, you can get a pet water fountain, as most cats do not like to drink stale water. After I've shaved his royal buttocks, it's off to enemy number one, the bathtub. It's okay. No. It's okay. I know, this is the part you hate. The no, you're not jumping. We're gonna do this real quick. Real quick. Oh my God. I need help. Okay. Listen. You're full of pee. Mayo, Mayo. You're fine, buddy. You're fine. Thanks to the lovely cameraman, Mayo's attempt at escape was denied. And now he gives up on life. After he's dry, I smooth out his haircut. I shave his paw pads. And as I trim his face, I make sure to hold his whiskers out of the way. I blend his furry boots. And when he's all finished, I rub down his skin in some hydrating oil. Thank you to all of you that helped me to save Mayo's life. Both his family and myself are extremely grateful for the outpouring amount of support that you have for this cat. As I continue to make content, I will also continue to help pets in need. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the spicy mayonnaise.